Welcome to Can You Etch It, the web's first laser engraving series that specializes in laser engraving strange, unique, and even common items. This is Alan Reeves with Bookworm Laser and Design, and you can find me at bookwormlaser.com. This time, I'm creating a bookmark. It's said that the only difference in the person you are today and the person you'll be in five years is the people you meet and the books you read. Today, I want to help you with the books you read, or at least make an interesting bookmark that may encourage you to read. This particular bookmark is made from polyester stencil material, which makes it more durable than a scrap of paper and well suited for our purpose, storing flags. To help remember some of the great concepts when reading, I take notes. Since most of the books I read are from the public library, writing in the books is not an option. As a solution, I use little adhesive flags to mark important concepts. This bookmark is the perfect tool to store the flags for easy access. Since no one wants an uninteresting laser engraved bookmark, the design includes the Bookworm Laser and Design logo and the name of several books I have read recently and enjoyed. These books include The Personal MBA, The Art of Nonconformity, The War of Art, Lynchpin, Creativity, The Power of Less, and many more. They serve as a reminder of the great information you can learn and enjoy from books. For more information about this episode of Can You Etch It, please visit bookwormlaser.com and search for bookmark or check out the post on Friday, March 1st, 2013. Once again, this is Alan Rees with Bookworm Laser and Design. If you have any questions about laser engraving or just want to chat, visit me at bookwormlaser.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. For more laser engraving videos, visit bookwormlaser.com or youtube.com slash bookwormlaser. To stay up to date with any new posts, please subscribe by email or to the RSS feed. You can find a link in the right-hand side of the site. Have a great day.